seven thirty. So the meeting is July twenty fifth. Uh, Conservation Commission is now open. Um, staff present is Rick Madden, Sherry Poole, Greg Walsh, Bob Edison, me and Stevenson, Doug Lovin, Agent Bob Clark, the administrative assistant, Mary Kearney. Uh, this hearing is being recorded, um, maybe for later broadcast. Um, please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through a video and audio broadcast on PAC TV government access panel for broadcast at future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. Uh, the first, uh, first meeting we have on our agenda is William Ferrara regarding the Latin Club project at Tubbs Meadow. Mm -hmm. Ferrara? Yep. How are you doing? Good. So, my name is William Ferrara and I'm the president of the Latin Club at Pembroke High School. Um, every year we go to a competition uh, that's kind of around here. Uh, it's called JCL and it's part of a bigger kind of project which is uh, the Junior Classical League. Um, and we kind of compete with other schools in it. Now, in the beginning of the year, they have an event called Kickoff in Mount Greylock. And at that, they have a competition where they uh, judge the distance of how far you can launch your trebuchet. Now, a trebuchet is a catapult used during medieval times, usually constructed out of wood and it uses a counterweight to get the sling to throw something. Um, but I was looking around at the park, and I found that there was a very nice location uh, right at Tubbs Meadow. Now, there are two different views of uh, where we would like to uh, put the trebuchet. Um, this location is ideal since uh, there's a kind of long passage leading up to a kind of cliff face, so that when we launch the trebuchet, we'll know where it's going, we'll be able to follow it through, and be able to collect any projectiles that go into the hill, and all projectiles will be caught by the hill, uh, making it impossible for anyone to be caught. Uh, Except for the trees. Will. Yeah. I, I doubt the trees will get hit. Um, and if they do get hit, they probably won't be damaged. What kind of projectile are you using? Um, we'd probably be using like pumpkins. Um, the competition calls for a one pound bag of beans that we need to fire, and that should be any problem. Um, the trebuchet should be about um, 15 feet long and 6 feet wide and 20 feet tall. Um, and just to protect the trebuchet, we would have, uh, and people in Tubbs Meadow, we would construct a mechanism to stop it from uh, to connect the firing arm to the rest of the body so that no one could fire the trebuchet when uh, when they, it was not in use. Instead of like just the knockoff box or the use, you have a secondary stop, like a safety on gun or you, yeah, something, something like, like that. that. A redundant system? Yeah. So it wouldn't be a repeat performance until we get a rate. Mm -hmm. And um, other safety measures we would like to take is, well, during fire earning, we would like to maybe put up some signs in the area. Um, just saying that this is a trebuchet firing, and um, we would also like to sound a horn before every every time we fire. Uh, I think that's about it. Any questions? When when do you want to do it? When is this going to happen? We would like to start on the project at least in. September probably. Okay. Um, and we would probably we would wrap it up before Christmas. Okay. 
Um, so it would be gone. Okay. Who's going to assemble? Um, we have, uh, we're in talks with some people who are professionals. So uh, there's an engineer, uh, Mr. Sparrow, and then a carpenter, Mr. Briggs, who would be open to helping us. Well, what happens with it afterwards is going to be on display places, move on to different places. You have, like, what are your future plans? Um, well, maybe during the winter, just so that it wouldn't get like, you know, soiled or anything like that. Do you intend to make it like a permanent fixture for display or? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. It would. Um, not, not to no. leave in tubs metal. No. No? no. no. Yeah. Yeah. It would be moved around, that's what yeah. that's my only concern is that the trees do count. We're going to do cutting the trees and it's you know, bringing cranes and not hurt a tree. And my concern is if you fire into a water and you put targets and it wouldn't hurt to leave the rocks in the water, would that be a possibility? It won't hurt if we're going to be able to measure how far right. you go. Yeah, well, well they have laser devices and everything <laughs> today. You just have a team that does the modern measuring. Or, I mean, what is the, what is the normal power <coughs> range? Um, about 300 feet. 300, 300. What's the approximate speed? Yeah. yeah. Um, <coughs> large caliber. Uh, it, it, it travels pretty fast. Yeah, like, it up by the crossroads. Big time ocean. Yeah, yeah. 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 so it's it's feet. feet. Yeah. Before it hits a tree. And that's probably. How big of an area do you need to set this up? Um, the area. It won't be too large. I mean, it should. So you said it was 20 feet long? Yeah. Or double something or triple because you got the swing arm. And yeah. Um, 60 foot. But so, so that should all be included in the main structure. Mm -hmm. so the arm is still so, Yeah, but it swings up, so that's a long range. If they were to well, set it up with motion, but you have to be careful. It doesn't, it kind of swings like this. Yeah, it does so. go backwards a bit too. They do yeah. come up and go around. I know what you're saying. But if they would have set it up in yeah. the pond, they fired the towards the hill on the flat. That's well over a thousand feet. Yeah, so there could be no if it is no damage there. Yeah. If you get over a thousand feet, you can hit a tree and we'll give you a melt. And okay. most of those trees in that area are barely new shrubs. Yeah, that was all dug out yeah. 20 years ago by your So travel. you where you have your, <coughs> your Travis A right now? You probably have to move it back 100 feet, but there still should be plenty of room yeah. to yeah. set that up there. Yeah, that wouldn't be any problem. What do they have to bring in for equipment? I, I, and I've seen these on TV, but I, I don't know a lot about them. What do they have for an anchoring device to hold it to the ground? To hold the trebuchet? Yeah. Um, you usually don't need an anchoring oh, device. Oh, okay. Um, it would actually probably be on wheels. Oh, okay. And where it swings, it's not like a bow. It's an actual swinging device, so it yeah. really doesn't jump much. Yeah. The ones I've seen. Okay. Yeah. You know. I just didn't know if you had to come in and dig holes to like put anchors in or, or, or what. That was my question. Uh, <coughs> what are we going to run in for to for transportation problems for this and for the show times and all because. Some of those roads in that area are not of right. the top quality of roads. And then you're going to have to have Bar Johns or anything because a bigger crowd. Of, you know, how how many people do you, you expect that, like a, when you're firing it off? Um, well, if we were to do an event, probably like maybe 100. But, so you're going to. But yeah. if we're just firing it, like. Routinely, like practice. Yep. It'll probably be like a team of ten or less. So if you're going to have an event, and I, I'm just just a heads up, you're probably going to have to hire a detail officer for the yep. parking lot out there. Okay. Um, you're definitely going to have to put a porta body in, and you're not going to have access to drive down to where it is. Mm. You're going to be stopped at the gate, and yep. maybe let one or two vehicles in, and that would be it. Mm -hmm. I'm aware of that. I, okay. I didn't really want to. It's what, like, there's also kind of permits for that kind of thing. So. Yeah, it's a public yeah. safety. It's just a very yeah. popular yeah. area for people yeah. to walk their dogs. We are watching again. stuff that, um, you know, who knows? But 
very, I think safety is important, and like you said, horning and like they do on a construction site, and obviously having a real protocol that's posted. I would, I would you know, think you definitely, once you, once you firm up your dates, you see Sabrina, which is the selectman's secretary, and have her get it out on the website. Okay. So people, are, more, the more people you can make aware of the safety issues, mm -hmm. I think we need, a, we need to run it by the selection too. Yeah. I think you, need, you should run it by the yeah. selection. I have. You have? I, I, I talked to them and they gave overwhelming support. Okay, okay. Um, good. good. Then I, but also I think you need to talk to two other very important people, is the police chief and the fire, fire chief. chief. Right, yes. So and just mm -hmm. for their input mm -hmm. while you're in the planning stage. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, especially when you're first firing and you're first learning, I think mm -hmm. that that's a stage of the gap one. Yeah. And, uh, uh, Fortunately, with trebuchets, they don't misfire like a gun. So, oh, I mean, there's, they're very accurate. Thank you, they won't thank, you thank you. People misfire. Well, it would be if you, you know, caught the bit something broke. Yeah. So, yeah, you, know, you, you just thing. want to make sure they're yeah. aware yeah. of it. So, you're obviously going to do all your test firings. And, and, and if you're down there, you, you might want to stop by the station and say, "Hey, we're going down to we're going down to practice launching this thing." Yeah. That way, there the captain on duty or whoever's on that shift knows we got to make sure we get the end on ten and out right. of there. Right. Right. something yeah. happens. Right. So that's all. Notification is very important. And uh, why just, you know, hey, let's go do this. But yeah, right. protocols, just like you can call yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I can absolutely. Yeah. Designated times and schedules and proper signing ahead of time when you're at the I think a time period you have to like one people sound the horn, which lets them know that. So many minutes down the road, like you know, explosion. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, a protocol is posted so that they hear like a single long horn. You go, okay, we're gonna get you know ready for the third horn, and not just one horn, but different signals and get them down. You can go ahead. That would be, that would be, I think, on Rick to make sure that he, Chief Wall sets up. Absolutely, this protocol. is what he do because yeah. he's got the safety officer. Yeah, and uh, ultimately, uh, Officer Kirby's gonna get involved in this where. It's, with this, this type of issue, yeah, with a specified time frame of when you're going to be doing it, yeah. you know, right. it can't be an all day event. And then yeah. some method of locking it up if it's going to be there, you're going to have some way to disable it or lock it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, solid. could probably like take out a rope and that would just render it completely. You're going to have to do something, yeah. unfortunately, you have to plan for the work. Maybe you can drop there. the load and pull the pin, so it's yeah. just like, you know, dead. Yeah, drop the load, pull, pull the pin, the pin you know, take out the sling. And it'll just be yeah. That's what? pretty much a pile of rocks and sticks. Yeah. Which you know, we hate to bring it up, but you need to be aware that vandalism does happen down yeah. at Tubbs Meadow. Yeah. yeah. And bonfires. And Kids like to have fires, so this thing yeah. made of wood. Bonfires position, so right. I, uh, I I believe in that aspect. You're in an area uh, in a stage of life that. You can get the word out a lot better than we can. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. Please don't mess. With Please us. don't mess with <laughs> us. Yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. Maybe take out like an insurance policy yeah. and get some cameras. <laughs> yeah, just well, it's something to keep in mind for your time. It's a little small and all. <laughs> and um, when are you gonna do the fireball? So that's not. Ah well, uh, I'm sure we can get those going pretty soon. Talk to the fire chief first. <laughs> okay. I think it's a, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, I do. And anything we can do to help you out. And I think the number of 100 is going to be shot. This is something you don't see every day. It's great. It's I like to move that we uh, allow this project go forward. And we'd like to be kept and get closely advised of what is happening yes. and all. And, and we'll have to work with you because everything down there is locked up and, and all that. So Yeah, if any of you would like to help out with the construction or like the firing, that would be. If and when you want to get it set up, mm -hmm. just let us know ahead of time right. so that we can have somebody down there and make sure that you're in the proper position in order to do so. All right. And if you want any pointers, I know the world record holder. <laughs> I fished with him a couple weeks ago in really? Jersey. So mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I'll let you know later. Yeah, that would be great. I put him in touch with you. It'd be, it'd, they'd love to be kind of guy down there. I'll second that. Okay. Oh, maybe like a few. Like, Do we have? Do we, have yeah, we have a motion. Have a record. I second. Rick, we have, yeah, we have a motion. It's been seconded. Uh, any further discussion on it? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I second. Thank you. Thank you. Good, Good luck. Here. Just let us know when you're there, and. Uh, 
we'll go from there. But I do know Michael from Michael from Jersey is a world record holder from the from the show. They they hold that. Okay. I can put him in touch with you and <laughs> yeah, that would be can kind of guide that go from there. Do you want me to like put down some like an email? I've I've shown you what I know. Okay. All right, but good luck. Well, Sean, have have your mom call Catherine and give me your phone number so I can get you in touch with somebody that's really good with this stuff. Thank you. All right, thank, thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to recommend that we extend the permit of the order conditions for the Board of Health uh, on Mark Pond weed control. Second. Okay. There's a motion on the table to extend the order conditions and second it for Harbor Mark Pond weed control. Is there any discussion on that? Go for it. Is this just an ongoing project of the Working well. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Seven. It's not here, all right? He said he's ready. <coughs> all right. Okay. I'd like to at least talk about some wild parsnips on the side of the road on Route 14, and the project is getting. Headed that, way. headed that way and close and if nothing else I think we need to tape off the area just to make sure that nobody gets into it the woodcutters have worked I made beside yeah you made them aware but if we don't tape it off then there's always a chance of and I think we need to at least tape 10 foot beyond where said, we're once it's taped I'll look for anything inside and try to move heads once I know where it's going to be, the work areas. Oh, I think that's an area where we're going to have to dig. That's right, but the heads are kind of yeah. seeds right now. So yeah. if I see any heads within that area, yeah. just cut them out of there well, first. Yeah, whatever, whatever we need to do, because I'm planning to talk to some of the selectmen and tell them that you know, if we don't get this under control, then we're going to issue an enforcement order that that part of the project is off limits. We're all of them. Yeah. Right. Now, um, outside that footprint, is there going to be any storage at the Herringwood area by the buildings no. nothing coming out of there? No. Because uh, I would love to uh, make sure there's just minimal work later to make sure we get everything we can. You're not going to get everything, I guarantee you. It's a plant. You know, I know it's invasive, that's the word. But work diligently to do the best we can, best practice, and then monitoring is still going to be a big deal. The only thing I could see being stored at the, the park would be piping or structures. Okay. Material, I don't think we're going to want to store it there because it's too close to the brook. And I'll talk to John, the supervisor, and let him know that's a not storage area other than for dry material. I'm just wondering more from the gas building to that uh, electrical stand. That is a real heavy <coughs> area. No, if anything, it probably be, like I say, structures dropped off in the parking lot. They gotta have room. They, they gotta have room for an 18 wheel to drop the pipe. So. We are, We have asked TPW when they get in that area to install a water service at the gas building while everything is dug up, yeah. even if it isn't connected, but off of yeah. it right the away, tap. so that yeah. it was. That's the new property has a tap, I'm sure. The lying property, yeah, there's auto service in there already. Right. Yeah. Yeah.
I haven't heard back from him. I heard yesterday he was, but he's all over. But we were calling him. I'm not worried about him. All right, we're now going to uh, hear a uh, 740 hearing. That's behind. Um, Ed Thorne, town administrator, and Leah Stanley from Western of Stanley, Harry Harry Run Park. Hello. Hi, folks. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? Um, what do we have on that? Well, you know, um, it's always been a mixed bag the last couple of years and we want to, you know, just let you folks know that regardless of whether or not we get funded from the state, um, there might be somebody from leftover uh, with some 300th anniversary money if we can be transferred. Um, there might be, obviously, the Conservation Commission has some funds available for it for any uh, improvements that are facility. Um, and then, of course, you know, waiting on the legislature to decide whether or not they can, or see whether they can override the governor's veto over the $100,000 that was put in, a, in an earmark fund. So we've got that um, in the situation. But I think, more importantly, um, what uh, Lee and I would like to hear from you folks as to what your vision of the park is because you know a couple years ago there was Weston Sampson did a nice presentation it was pretty ostentatious I mean it was uh, a lot of stuff that was tougher a lot of people saw it at the time <coughs> but what we'd like to hear from you guys as to what um, what you would like to hear now obviously we want to make a handicap assessment so that's and so we, let, why don't we just address what we can do as a town to make the part of the mechanic based on your experience. Right. So a lot of times when we do these plans and we put them all together and we bring them toward to the Conservation Commission, the Conservation Commission says, well, why didn't you, why didn't you come see us? We would have told you what we do and don't want. So we have this opportunity now to, you know, Ed and I want to have an open conversation with you and talk about what we could do. So. We talked about gravel paths that went, you know, we, there was some discussion about a, new, a different handicap parking space. I think we're leaning towards using the existing parking area as handicap parking space. And then if, if that's the case, the bridges may be able to work with that. And then it's really just the walkways around the park. So I believe that um, Brandon talked about gravel paths you know I think I think we need to talk about what the paths are made of I think we need to talk about you know gravel is you know we need to talk about things like impermeable area we need to talk about things like total descent dissolve solids and which one which what materials are going to be the best thing for that area uh, I definitely think we need to talk about um, excavation and what excavation in that site is going to mean for like like archaeological and those kinds of natural heritage impacts. So go right ahead. now, I'm going to run back here one so second. I'll let Leah do all the <laughs> go. Now I'm not leaving it to the wolves. You can more than handle this conversation. I'm sure I'll be right. So um, I mean, I guess the big things, the the, the items on the table. Whether there's enough money or not is a different story. But the walkways and the handicap accessible were, were big. We talked about some handrails. There was some discussion about the culvert and whether the culvert could handle the trucks driving over it. There was some discussion about the bridge. They, were they talked about kind of a wooden bridge that would incorporate some handrails. Um, we talked about the, the stream edge is starting to frail and over every storm that comes up that you lose more of it so there was some discussion about um, uh, shoring up the, 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 the sides of the, um, the stream um, there's some overgrowth that we talked about getting taken care of and um, and then there was some handrails on that old foundation there so and then there's the water wheel so um, I think those those are the items on the table 
now whether there's enough money to do all those things or not is a totally different story. But for me, it's really the material of the walkway I think impacts this board significantly. Because um, I think the gravel would look really nice, but when we spoke with our permitting guy, he was a little worried about uh, managing Is that good for a wheelchair to go over? Yeah, you can get the pack. It, it's it's literally packed. It's dense gray. It's as it's <laughs> dense gray gravel, and it's as impermeable as pavement. You know what I mean? Like, but but it's a little better. But <laughs> it is. Um, what about the plastic racks that put right in the grass? It's marked by plants and the markings and. It's totally in front of all there's, there's no real going down and digging it. I would prefer any overlayment rather than digging on this site. Do we discuss and find out actually what it is as a site? Nobody really can say is it heritage, is it historical, is it kind of a mixed bag of what it is. I'm in, I'm for overlaying this project on top of grade. We need to bring up grade, in my opinion, to bring the herring up to where the water will might go, whether it goes there or not. Like to see pools with large stones that won't erode out, just rocks take the concrete out. The herring are very important here too. Handicap and herring are, in my opinion, both the main things right now. But bring pools so they have the water rush down through a channel, make nice pools, bring the water up. So the herring have less impediments. And with it, without the wheel, it's a nice viewing area of pools. When you come up over the top of that area, I like do all handicapped the Marshall Fair and was handicapped for 18 years, so I bring that to Marshall Fair for 25 years. I like to get the loftier views. You know, I'm looking at mid-trip people all the time, they're down up at the top of the park as you first come in on that first bathing area where the culvert is. Great gardens, looking down into the fish, you have the view over everything, nice rails and gardens and things in that area. So kind of look at what you're going to go see and then decide staging areas for them so it's not just run through and the water action and I think that would be something I'd really like to see that area made into pools a nice up over area to view from wheelchairs and you know enjoy the breeze and not just get down and kind of wonder where you are and lofty views are very important to the wheelchairs I just want to put that up there and that's a good it's the highest location there it has some of the nicer down views of the brooks. You're talking about on that old foundation there? Where the culvert is, yep. where the second brook comes up, yep. which is actually a trap. But I would like to remove the trap completely by putting pools in. Instead of excavating, come above grade and further stop erosion and keep the site whatever it is. Just come above it whenever possible and come over it instead of the digging issue. I think that's a good way to approach this where it is such a sensitive area? That's my two cents. Well, I, I think what from my stand we need a basic overall long term plan of what we're we're at going for. Because everything we're talking about, dollar and cent is beyond the monies that we're going to have available right away. So I would rather see us spend some of our monies with a plan that's workable over the next five to ten years even if it Faces. has to be. I go to a park down off the canal that uh, is run by the Historical Society and Conservation and over the last ten or twelve years every year they keep enlarging and improving and all and it's it's great. They, you never really see a whole lot done but every year there's something been there. something more done in it. And I think that's what we need to look at this project, not something that we can go in and do it all at one time and walk away and say, isn't this nice? Because I think it's a ongoing project. I think there's places to get money. We haven't looked also. Uh, there's a right. grant for matching grant up to thirty thousand dollars for the forestry. It's an inverse cotton footprint grant from Massachusetts Urban Community Forestry Challenge Grant application. But every one of those grants requires a plan of what you want to do. I mean, that's that's why I think that's one of the exactly. the plan and a plan's first stage perhaps should be making the park handicap accessible, the main run of the park handicap accessible. And then 
you can work off of the main runs to your pools or your whatever else you might want to put in afterwards. I think very early in the project, the cement and granite work in the sluice ways and all needs to be attended to because it's deteriorating at a at a rapid a rapid rate. I, I want the inside sluice ways gone. I want the concrete gone. I want big stones brought in that will not move, that are probably going to be given to us if we're smart and we have time to work on it, like you said, and work towards people donating for a good plan. I mean, the plan is well, everything. We need, we need this, the this plan kind is of very plan. Important. This is where Hatley and her company yeah. are there to give, to give us the technical yeah. advice of how we go about getting this and, you know, working some sort of a long range plan. I don't think we can, I don't think it's something we can do in a one year project type of plan. It's just too much air, too much at stake to be, to throw, try to throw everything at it quick and say, this is the way it is. And especially when it comes to the river, because, because you're saying putting these nice stones and going away with the grant, that's all well and good, but we need to put them there and see if they're going to stay there well, I before we engineer. finish everything else behind them because I, I, there is a tremendous force in that in that river when the spring rains come. I agree on bigger is definitely better. I'm all for that. But definitely the bigger ones will break it up, slow it down, hold it. And the biggest thing also, handicapped yeah. definitely first of all, that's people I, I think the first place you come up to is between the brooks. It's a great lofty place to actually be considered first for their first staging area, in my opinion. We've been doing this line for 5, 25 years. We've got boards in it. No one talking about it on their views. Um, that brings us to, again, how do you separate Herring Brook, Paul Herring Brook, and there's now more touring or hurting or trapping fish, and that is classically the impediment trap, the inside. Instead of years, we changed it with a few rocks, we got the herring up. I think the balance between protecting the herring, the community, you know, handicapped access, I feel that that whole first area could be done together in a short period of time with a good plan. It's got great topography, we've got big things, drops, beautiful pools you can design and look at. And we have to remember, it's a trap for removing an impediment. Conservation Herring Commissioners were on one of this, I'm sure, the Herring get up. That's very important, in my opinion. I agree with but I think the time limit is still, all these projects always take us longer to get financed and longer to do than what we would like. So we have to have something that we can say, this is what we're aiming for and then build up a, a nucleus of people mm -hmm. who are willing to back it in time and money and all and work it and let it and let it grow but with their talent of being able to design it and then keep working the original design to whatever ideas you see developing as it goes so we really need a good basic plan to work on erosion being a large issue that we're talking about like you said it's a lot of water you know, when they say this level, that level, you know what level, you, what benchmark are you talking about? Mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely what? something to look into. But I think the erosion is important to control as soon as we can. I think the impediment, and then obviously, how my passion is handicapped. So you, I'm, I'd like to walk the site and yeah, take a look, you know? Like we have to have it surveyed, what do we have to do in order to find? You know, I, I think we talk of of a few different styles of bridges yep. to go in. Uh, they would prefer if the Indian head did one with a, with a 90 degree bend in it. Uh, and that stops, you know, anybody getting an ATV through there, uh, uh, any kind of vandals or whatnot, but it still is readily handicapped accessible. Um, something along those lines where they can get a motorized, you know, a small car or a chair over. But yet it still impedes somebody from flying over and doing damage up there. You know, what what would be the best location for that? You know, you know I guess I'd have to have it 
Would you survey it? So, so it has been surveyed. Um, and I will be perfectly honest with you. Our intention would probably be like a de minimis approach. So, um, you know, I don't think, I don't, I mean, I, we certainly wouldn't be looking to change any of the stream paths and we wouldn't be looking to do any of that without this, the, the, this group would have to be 100% in lock with it, but we wouldn't propose it otherwise, to be honest. It would, it would be, and I agree with everything you said, uh, herring first, no, there, it would, it would, it would, it would be an Like changing, that. changing in direction or a, a forward direction, just slowly instead of a quick jump, bringing up pools, you're not changing the flow. You're, you're For the fish to go up. Resting pools, spewing right. pools instead yeah. of a hammering wall. And very inexpensive to use stones if you get the stone and stone. The fisheries people have been helpful in those discussions oh, yes. Yes. and getting yes. in there and kind of reworking it. Yep. And without, it would be that type of approach. Well, that, that would be what it'd be. A low tech. Yep. The back eddies for them to come in and rest right. before they go back out. And right. they go back up and, and some big enough rocks that, that, that gets, I understand what you're saying. I've seen the fish swimming 50 feet up on the lawn. I've seen the whole place underwater, and a lot of force goes through there. These resting pools are, were incorporated on the Mill Street fish ladder when it was mm -hmm. built. If you look downstream, there's, That's right. there's two or three of them that were built in at that time yeah. for that same purpose at that fish ladder. And again, where you're coming, you're bringing the water up, and not digging down into the ground. I think that's a that's going to be a long-term process. You start going there. I think, going on top, layering on above what's there. There's no digging. I think that is the approach I would whenever possible use here. And the grades will allow that, I think, if you look at it and you decide. Well, I would have, you know, with what put from the historical society on that. Mm -hmm. Tommy for the engineer system, a lot of, you know, a lot of work right there. Well, this town is on the mm -hmm. years. Years of having for of engineers' records. The blue water source for everybody. So, a lot of records just right now for engineers and benchmarks and flow. You can get the information from Having a good plan is like the gentleman that was here earlier tonight came in with four yep. pictures of the area and what he yep. thought and wanted to do. So much easier than just saying, talking about, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. And they have done that first time around and had a good presentation yeah. and we, have, we didn't all put up put in to them what we should have the first time around yeah. and we have a person with a camera that flies around here to assist for i'm sure right well we've been uh, looking for you know, views if you want to look and also have some great ideas and great photographs yeah. oh, yeah. oh. um, that you can look through you know, this you is know the history I, and a lot of them will be like you know, really long, but the history and whatnot's in there as far as originality and some other ideas. And it's just it's a wonderful resource. Great, if you great resource. Yeah. I've been so stuck in this from a strictly time. practical standpoint, there is some monies on the table right now, or has been on the table, and maybe just be falling off the table. We don't know. But if we don't act on some of this fairly quick, we're liable to lose that first set of monies. And that's why I think it's important to get a good rough plan and look at the handicap part of it. That's what this money is yeah. basically targeted for. Yeah. Doesn't mean we have to do the whole park anyway, but use it to get what we call the main street through the park. And then as these other projects develop, you Put a side street off your main path through It becomes its own ambassador. It becomes its own ambassador to feel good itself. It's yeah. step by step and the people like, yeah. they won't, they're like, well, we got to get over there now. Yeah. Right, I mean, right, right now we have there. a park that needs to be no. handicapped. If we right. handicap what's there right, right now, then we can, as we do other things in the future, we can handicap that particular part of it with a spur path or a, right. or a circle or something else. But, right. I don't think we can wait to try to handicap the main park while we're talking about all of the things that we want to do with with the riverbed and everything else. So that's 
That's way off. Nor do we want to put something somewhere where we're just going to have to redo it yeah, five exactly. or ten years down the line exactly. because we have it. You know, it, it gets would have to find the best location to have the bridge well, cross. We're dealing with water erosion, and you want to take the high ground. Again, right. I'm going to tell you right now, anybody in a wheelchair is going to want the high ground, and that's just rule of thumb. They have the view, otherwise they're looking at navels all day, you know, and that's a great areas to build up to that park and then I think the best place is just prior to the river in the center it's kind of the hub the fish come up both sides there's two easy access one long access and one you can actually pull up have staging area I think the pools and everything else I, I disagree with Bob a little bit but that's the highlight that is the jewel area and you come up to it, you get to it first, and that is the fish, the handicap, the lofty view, and it's up to the engineer to decide these things because you know better than we do. But uh, I think that area is the precedent area. I think the back, I mean, that's a big area to design. Lots of gardens, lots of space, four or five projects, probably two or three different site plans to possibly. I think mean, that is an unused big canvas. The real, the real people people you know come to is the herring to watch it, and it's all right in the center. Those are the elevations, those are the erosion control areas, and I think the erosion control that whole first stage should be based where the trim brooks come together, flow through. That is the most erosion. That's the prettiest place to sit. With and, and also the most expensive well, area to start with. work with, yeah. and right. and the most time consuming. Well, and the jewel of the program. That's correct. Right. So well, right now, started. right now we're we're really faced with we have some money to spend, or we have some money, mm -hmm. and we if we don't spend it, we'll probably so we'll lose, lose it. It's right on the board and right it now. has a designation on it supposedly for handicap accessibility. Mm -hmm. So yes, this is a fine jewel area. We should be working on it. And but get people to it. Right. And that's but the if, hub. but if we don't get this first hundred then we don't or what if we don't get some of the handicap stuff going well, then we're not going to find be able to get the money to get the rest of it so going. I think building the hub like you said then doing the roads off of it is absolutely correct mm -hmm. I think the hub is where you start first that just happens to be the so where are you going to get the money for that one I think a lot of people would donate I think we have a good solid plan and we say we need we like I think but, you have to start with people that are donate or not people can come up with a lot of things right. to help us but you start with a donate and then a plan you're looking at a at best an 18 month or more oh, yeah. before you do it yeah. 18 months from now that hundred the yeah, money. handicap right. accessory money is long gone so we know we need to come from the parking lot with a new 14 project we have to integrate that to the park do you put it just over the bridge of the building in one spot, you bring it up around. It's already got a big high ground passage. No, well, that's, and that's what jobs. the engineers are here to get yeah. our ideas so and see what they can do with it. Is that okay, a big so pull up around passage that's high. I'm, I'm totally on board with you know, what you're talking about. One thing you're going to have to probably do before you can even get started is down with the Route 14 plants. Yeah, because there's all new guardrail going in there. Yeah. You're going to have to figure out what you're going to need for openings because we have to let the state know in written and in writing way ahead of time before they'll even authorize the change of place. And well, we might not even be changing I don't think we well, I'm sure you're going to have to enlarge your opening that's there to make it handicap accessible. The one with the two split rails? I yeah. believe that's over five feet, isn't it? No, no, I'm, I'm saying the, pool, so we got the, the, park, the parking, the parking area, and all that. I don't know exactly where the guardrails are going to lay out because the state has different ideas okay. for guardrails so than what we may have. Parking spaces that say handicap. That's right. That comes down to where they're going to pull in. But they're going to they're going to remove that split rail fence. Right. And that's all going to be guardrail. Yeah, but I'm talking about the one that's concrete that comes over. It's the basic pass to the center. That's that's about ten feet wide. I think. Okay, so that's that's really good I to think, work with. I mean, I don't. I, I'd have to defer to our flow people, okay. but I think that bridge has a good shot at yeah. being handicap accessible, yeah, right? Absolutely. So, um, all right. So, 
uh, I, we're, an en we're engineers, we engineer things, we put plans together, and we and for permitting, but I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna tip my hands right now. Uh, it's wicked expensive. <laughs> so I would love to not waste all of the town's hundred or whatever thousand dollars that you have putting together an engineer design and in, in permitting plan. So um, would we permit the master plan because technically I engineer we engineer plans that go out for construction okay so that would be groomed around how much budget you have but that so that would be like phase one an engineered plan for phase one that we bring to you folks and I agree that I think it ought to be focused on handicap and that's what gets permitted. And then phase two gets, it is a little bit of a more engineering intensive, permitting intensive thing to do, way to do it, I should say. Um, the, the only other alternative is we could, um, we could come up with a permitted plan for you know, what we really want it to look like and that gets the stamp of approval and then you phase off of it for construction pieces. Um, but I, no, we have, we have a three now. year for, we'd have to do that three years and you might not do it in three years, right? Because our order of audition is only for three years. I think getting people from the parking lot, over the bridge, up the center, to the high ground, whether the pool's going or not, anything ever happens there. It's the high ground, it's a nice way to come in. And it branches off, and you can not just kind of wonder where you're going in the handicap, you can see, oh, that's where I'm going. So I think that big horseshoe, if you're talking, I would say just the grids in the grass, that's got to be less expensive and easy to maintain and mow than anything else. I would think else. you'd need to do some handrails too. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah uh, but I'm talking about the base. Yeah. Like we're digging up soil, bringing yeah. in a hard pack, creating more roads and saltation. And keep them warm. Some green. sort of mats, like what they use yeah. at the beach. Yes, yeah, um, yeah. the There's a parking lot at the town land, across yes. from the town landing. Yeah, they're like a. It almost looks like a geo grid, mm -hmm. and I guess they put them in. And, and I'm not. I wasn't there when they did it, but I guess they put them in. Then they loom and seed right over the right. top of them. But the plastic is there for the base. I've seen it for the trucks, but I don't know if that will work for the. Do you know if it will work for the wheelchairs? Well, not of that, I don't know. Because I know they hold up and they protect the grass from getting compacted on the trucks. Well, I've seen the this, grid this on they ripped that. Out, they ripped out the whole parking yes. area at the yeah. at the town landing, yeah. and, and this is what the parking area is made out of. Exactly. But. As far as handicap, I, I really don't. Well, yeah, they do. Okay. Yeah, this is the. It's a lot. What are they? Inch and a half by inch and a half square yeah, or something. Yeah. Whatever is required or in or whatever or area for whatever compaction. I, I think we actually have a couple of the, the, the grids down at the town barn. Yeah, I've seen from the project. If you need to look at one of them. I think that would be, you know, mowing easy. They're not going to blood out. They're not going to. You know, have a solid base. And the plants go through, the worms come up, the water runs over, it doesn't roll out, it's got a grid. It's got to have a low impact. You can lay it on and put, again, overlay rather than dig in. I think mean, overlay, overlay, and this project is going to save time, money, and a lot of uh, possible lawyers. They're not for pain. Designers are great, working are good. There's a good need them, but. Yeah, I think we. <coughs> I'm not sure that anyone would ever say that the board has put a weight limit on that bridge mm -hmm. going up up back. In other words, we are not allowing any full-size vehicle across that the bridge anymore. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't aware of that. So would that be like a like like a cargo truck or whatever? Yeah, no, you're it's, not, it's, you're it, letting all you can go. Oh, you can go up that edge. After that, it has to be a I golf cart. Well, Gators, no, it was some smaller vehicle. The only people that can get in there are the DPW right. if they have to for some reason right. or with something else. So right. do you want to, and that was this board that did yeah. that? I don't think we need to bring handicapped vans on the other side. I mean, it's a matter of wheelchairs. Agreed. Do you want to do something to block the vehicular passage? 
like, you know, those right little yards they do, or? Right now there's a cable yeah. across. And that's where it's usually, okay. usually it's locked. Yeah, and that's out of the road. It's really not near the area we're talking about. Yeah. We're going to stop the traffic board gets near it. But I think uh, Rick is, is right in, we need to work the parking lot and get a, but I like to look at as a main road to the upper, yeah. to the upper section. We get, if we get that, that satisfies the handicapping yeah. to where the festival type projects are yeah. done there. Fish fry, the weddings, the anything else that, that they use it for. So I would think that would be our main part of our, whichever way you think, whether we want to permit jet first and then look at the others or whether you, how, how you well, people I work. With I, I would try to bring it to the other side, just to another little staging area, because it's too nice, lofty. The other yeah. side is what? It's just over the causeway. Yeah. So the, the not culvert. just bring them to the culvert, but past it's pretty stable and it's not going to be, it's a dam, you're not going to like really do a whole lot of removal of anything. Again, that area could be, it's got nice walls, the fences, it's a, just bring them over and just I get have, this. I have great faith that the engineers both sides. will come up with some yeah. some plots. They sit there and think well when, yeah. they, yeah. when they see a project going. I, at first, they're looking at it and yeah, yeah, there's no way we're going to... What am I going to But they come up with it after I will tell you, the more you do, the more you open up. So, yeah. I hear what you're saying, but that embankment on that side is starting to go. So, you start heading down there, and you like, well, you're going to, you know, it's like Pandora's box. It's hard to know where to stop. So, um... Get us up over to the high ground on both sides, and I'd like to see the start. And then, you know. Definitely looking at some type of retaining wall. Oh, yeah on both sides of that concrete bridge or the, the, the washout is bad whether it's you know you rip wrap it and hold it that way but you, you're definitely going to need something we've put the stones back many yeah. times there right. so I think bigger stones okay so so in, in just to kind of focus us or me th that might not be in phase one no, no. right okay or but it's just something that needs to be right. Thought of, say somebody comes up the with, wing walls you know, of yeah. that culvert, yeah. exactly. Let's say somebody comes up with a whole bunch of beautiful big stones for us. I think we should be prepared to accept them, not say, well, we're not sure what we're doing. I think big stones, the right ones, you could tell them what you know. You could look at it and say, yeah, that's a good You know, we've been playing with that rocky stream for a long time. Mm -hmm. People look at big stones and there's big pieces of granite around them. Yep. I think it would look really beautiful. And just bring the, see the fish are very important too to make sure this I don't want to bring up 10 times it. the reason it's a double brook is half length we've got a free pass to go breathe and half got eaten so we really have to work that where it's passage and beautiful yeah. viewing pools would be a great way I'd love yeah. to well, be again that, 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 that would myself. all go in with fixing those walls on either yeah. side yeah. Yeah. and all, all of that that's that part of a project yeah I say that could be two second part of the project. I think you, you it's also the expensive, an expensive part. So we hit, we got to kind of work oh, with yeah. what we have. I agree. And you at least use it up in, if nothing more, in good planning and and starting, so that we know where we're so going. We, we, we just really don't have a plan. You said yeah. it when you said the plan is very important because we can always apply for once we CPC. get the plan we can always apply for cpc funds yep. every year right to down, down, down we can yeah yeah and matching grants they're trying to give this money away you gotta have it by fall you know 30 grand matching grants yeah. they're, they're short form they're giving stuff away they want it gone so but but my engineer project. plan is only going to be for phase one i yeah. want to make okay. right right, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. right. but yeah. you know <laughs> yeah yeah, that possibly when you get into it. But I think we need to tell the engineers to be thinking about. Well, that's what we do, right? Yeah, right. that's what you do. But that doesn't mean that that's memorialized and formalized. Right. No, that's no, that's what I say. That gives you plenty of time for yeah. everybody's ideas, thoughts, and I guess and costs. What we need to do is not be that on a handicap. Get that done first, and then do the phases from there. And I think what I'm saying is, when I, I speak not out of turn here, but I believe that. This is the time when fisheries and conservation should pool resources and try to do the very best for the future. So I'm going to say, I think there are resources, because the herring, that can come into this and work together. 
I, I believe that I believe we can find funding over a period of time, but it's not 30-day funding. It's you've got to convince people. You've got to convince people that you have a project, you have a goal, you have something in mind. Here is what we're shooting for, and then they're more reluctant to loosen the purchase strings of the money section and say, okay, well, here's this. But well, we are going to, you know, you say, oh, prior to this, we'll give you a little, little bit. What can you do with this to right. keep working up to what you want? And we don't want to delay handicap access. No. no. Seven no. years in order to accommodate yeah. this. Yeah. No. This no. Down, this down, and then finally, it used to no. phase seven. But especially where, you know, again, a lot of our handicap guys have gone to war. It's a brutal war. Mm -hmm. Anything we can do to make their lives, you know, more ingratiated into Pembroke and accessible to the public affairs. By all means, that takes top priority. And, and not saying so against your heron, correct? No, no, me neither. But the heron are making it up right now. The handicap aren't, so the handicap needs oh, to I agree. take priority <laughs> over, the, <laughs> over the heron for this first piece of money. Oh, no, but if they overlap and funding can actually come in. Oh, yeah, well, it's nice to overlap, together. but I think that's. Handicap fish. Yeah. Hmm? Handicap fish. There must be some. I don't think they make it up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what takes care of them. The so birds got to eat too. <laughs> no, they do. I'm all for it. Everything eating the everything eats the herring, including the handicap. They'll get in there and they'll eat the herring with the fish fry. No. I think we want to make sure that any plants are okay. Cod cakes. That's what our guys do. Yeah. All right. So where are we on the water well? We don't know. That's, that's well, an ongoing I, issue. Where I personally it. think that it's historical. You should ask her where we're at because her dad put the original one in and this explains a lot about it. We have a hearing on the you know? 27th because it's under appeal right, right. now. So, so it's not even on the board. Yeah. 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 We don't have to look at the pictures. Totally yeah. fine. Let the pictures I'm speak. Sure. I'm going to share and borrow that out. Let the pictures speak yeah. of his past. I'm not going to take it. The herring will fall under some of the other ones. Take your time. Take it. Look at it. It's a good thing to do. My name, address, and number is Yes, thank you. <laughs> you need to thank you for doing the job. This is what you need to look at. I, I think the most important care. thing is to get the handicap access and not lose the money we have. Yes, hundred percent. But I don't know what the I don't and I don't know what the money is because I'm what I missed the last no, no, no. Um, last round of when you guys did the presentation. I missed that, um, but I I really think. We need to concentrate on the handicap just so we don't lose the, uh, the, the uh, ability to make a handicap more accessible. I think that I is think the whole so goal here is to get the handicap straight away first. Uh, I agree. Right. Above everything else, I'm 100% on that side. And even, and I don't like to look at it that, even if we don't, uh, we lose the handicap money we have now, I oh, wow. think we got to put handicap first and work for other funds to do it because it needs to it needs to be done mm -hmm. and then everything will work when off I, of that when i was taking pictures there was a lady having a picnic for the child and she said that um her mom just became handicapped in the wheelchair and she used to come all the time and have a picnic and she misses that so the handicap once i think it's set i think everybody goes hmm. and then they may be freer with the money to kind of see everything else that's going on yeah. there but that definitely has to be. handicap money i think it would be easy, more easily accessible yeah. okay. if we did lose this grant yeah. uh, for, for the park in comparison i, I think though so. also that we're coming to a time where like you said phase one phase two that again the handicap to me I mean, we have a place I'd want to sit and watch the fish. Be up in a lofty view with nice rails, gardens, and breeze, and the most views I could have, and topography up and down. I, I think we can work together funding wise between organizations with a fish, handicap, townspeople on different boards, can come together with funds from different agencies to one project. I don't think it has to be us, them. I think this is. All of ours. This is not an us. This is a right. situation where if we don't, the money that's eligible for it's it, we go away. put a plan in action yep. now. Exactly. And we need to get access now versus 
again, another three years or four years down the line. Let's take care of this and keep planning that. There's no question about the saying. When we open the door though, to work with people, that opens the door for their funding to come towards the center goal of the project as well. This is a lot of overlapping stuff. Right? The handicap first, absolutely. When the time is right, well, what are they going to look at once you get in the table? And what are they going to look at though once you get them there? That's again, you know, that's what you go for. So okay, they so are together. Um, I, I, I want to make sure you all are not thinking I'm being shifty, so I'm going to put my chips on the table. <laughs> <laughs> um, if the Board of Selectmen asks us to design a water wheel in its original location as part of this plan. Um, I understand if you all don't want to talk about it, but I need to be perfectly clear that that is part of what is on the table for the scope of it, this project. It needs to be its permanent location. Yeah. Yeah. The permanent location would be great to see a plan. Absolutely. Agreed. Plan. I know. Absolutely. Get some of the yeah. pools and lifting the water, get rid of the impediment too. Because my book, Herring will again has to not hurt Herring. It has to not be there and the whole project when done. Right. It can't be there. Well, this is an undershot wheel anyway, so right. it's the rate we so bring the water up. Bring it up to pools, undershot. 100%. And it stops, I mean, erosion wise, I hear you. I've seen it. it, it it's like an unplugged fire hydrant. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I would say yes, a water wheel needs to be in the project. Yes, for the but the first order. half of the project is handicapped, and I would certainly like to say no, we aren't even considering the wheel in the first I, half of the project. The first half of the project because that's something, that, that's something that needs to be incorporated with some of other Richard's ideas and the pools and all, all of that water part of the park. Right now, we're trying to get the people into the park. Right, right. To that point where they can actually see it. I agree, but I think it's your decision to look at the book. Well, it's not my decision. No, no, I, I want to be perfectly clear. Right, no, no, no. <laughs> it well, is but, not well, my decision. Well, my book is feasible, but for <laughs> some ideas. Let me finish. It's your opinion that counts whether it's feasible and what part of the projects it goes into. It might be better to do it on, it might be not. It might be. It ones like you in. You have to figure that out. And, I like the phase idea because then you don't, you know, you've got a good phase, a good plan, you know you can do it. And I, I like that, I'm not against that. But I don't think that should deaden it, the fact that maybe it'll work together. This is a picture of a waterfall. I know it can't be put in there, but if you can incorporate the, idea of the wheel the water. and like almost like a rock garden with the ferns and stuff like that. Kind of like instead of just having the wheel and then water running down. Yeah. But you, you just look at it and you know, What we're thinking, what you're know. saying is the viewing of the handicapped access area is below. <coughs> if they would look down at the gardens, instead of people coming in under them, that would be handy access, gardens, viewing of those, kind of is what we're trying to her to talk about this. So the gardens come down, they're more wet and ferny, and get up against the high walls, and the concrete and all that. We view them from over here. Don't go in there. People don't go in there. They don't put in the wheel. And the people look, view it from above. It's beautiful, lush ferns and wet and moist. It's viewed from the other side with rocks and pools. Um, we're doing this together we're on this part, so. Can you confirm that? Yeah. But I mean, do it. And there's a lot of stuff in there that. Lots. A lot of volunteers and stuff we could do. I mean, there's a lot of stuff incorporated, so just pick out the stuff that you can do, and but we can do the rest. Do, we're going to do it. Um, obviously, you're not going to build anything about something. Mm -hmm. There's a lot in here that's very... It goes uh, back. Well, can I take it well, back to the I, I think when we're talk, you're talking now about the finishing touches right. that's on, the, that's on a path that hasn't right. even had the, right. had the basics right. put in. And, and yeah. yeah, you can visualize all this, but we got to get the basic get the designed in first and then work all of See, the, uh, the hand decoration hand around the side. Then we know where we can put the, the beds and plants and stuff. Right now, that's the first thing that's going to be done. And, you know, if the wheel is coming, and when in the handicapped area, um, you know, as you know, agitated water puts off all the ions, they increase your 
your health and your well-being. And beautiful serenity gardens, that whole area could just be soft and, and nourishing. You know, that's one of the things that make it Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. And now that you can confuse. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm you mostly straight, not confused. It takes a lot to confuse uh, me. Uh, I think. Work hard. And for those people on the board, uh, we have worked with this engineering firm for numbers of, of years in, in town here. And we have, we have great faith that they'll, they'll give us nothing but the best. Are you, you, you the chair? Yeah. Yes, I am. You looked like cherry. I look cherry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you really get to know him. I'm out of here, so I'm out of here. Would you like to watch the guy in the hat? Which one? Yeah, they, the snack. I know. Thank, Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to look. You know, it's nice to meet you all. Have a great day. Thank Take you care. so much. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we're uh, 750 in Michael Shackleton. Uh, not called in Siberia, and not called in here. Okay. Well, like I talked to him yesterday, and he had plans to be here, but I'm just like, okay, that's all right. So we'll go on to the uh, public hearings, the, the continuation of the RDA 36 High Avenue. Uh, that gentleman withdrew that application totally? Okay. Yeah, uh, and I'd like to just say that if you read the mail, there is a letter of apology in the mail from him or some of the attitude he had while he was here. Well, there was, and there was the extenuating circumstances. His wife had just been diagnosed with, yeah. I, I with cancer and, and all of that. He had a lot of other things on his mind. I would say there's more just a misunderstanding over an attitude and certainly yeah. we didn't want anything above and beyond that we would normally. So, yeah. excellent. That's, uh, so is that wall going to just stay there the way it is now? Who wants it? Who wants the wall? Well, it gets into another situation yeah. that with there is a some forms that say that they all own another four feet farther out onto the pond, but it doesn't show it everywhere. It's one of those things that if he came before us, yeah. it would be a question as to prove who owns what. Yes. So is she going to just now in the the same way or? It would only be his obligation to prove if he wanted yeah. to change it, right? So once he says he doesn't want to change it, then it would, if we wanted to prove it, it would be up to us. No, in other words, if he came in and wanted to do anything on the no, wall. No, but he does. He said he doesn't want it. So yeah. So now it, it's just a dead issue. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to do anything. No, it's just the way. If we wanted to now say the wall is in the water, we would have to pay for that because now he is withdrawn, right? He's trying to it. He's trying to back right off to say like this. It's in the water. It's the railroad ties down the line. Somebody says we don't want them there. Then we would have to prove who owns the ship. Well, we yeah, ship if we have to do it, we have to do it. No, I mean, so it and it appears. It appears. I would say, Rick, that that yeah. appears somewhere that there is paperwork to do that because the old town maps, some of the older town maps, show that strip along about right. twelve or fourteen houses there. Yeah. The newer ones don't. Who left them off? I don't know. Somebody decided they didn't need it. You know. But it shows that every house there had an additional four feet from their original deep. Whatever happened to the old pipe in the corner of the rock? The hole in it? But it's, I say right now it's a mute point. He, right. he, he will probably come back at a later date yeah, when, he's like when, when things are straightened out in the end of his family. I think it done right. It would be a really nice thing for him to do. I, I'm not against it. I just. You know, be prepared for a thunderstorm at the wrong time of the year. My honest opinion, we need to keep an eye on it. Yeah. I was saying that too. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Well, yeah, we need to keep an eye on it, but I also think he knows that if he does touch it, he's already he's been before us. In other words, it isn't like he can say, I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and it's easy to say, I didn't know. It's harder to say, I knew and I didn't care. And there's a board member across the street. I mean, you guys on it's, it's nice to have him there. It's just He's, good thing. Yeah, he has to be careful not to say too much. Oh, that's okay. okay. I'm accused. <laughs> All right. Uh, Do you have an obligation to say something? Yeah. Any discussion? I put a thought. Yeah. Should we put down acceptance of the deal if we're going to find the joint vote on that? 
Well, that was what we signed on the. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I was going right down the list here anyway. So we'll try not to get too far off the list here. Correspondence to Plymouth County Water District Commission. I think we're just waiting on the address on that the last time. Yeah. Um, it's in your email, isn't it? Are you going to resend it? Um, I have to get it from um, Sabrina. Or you could ask Sabrina for it. Save a seven. Okay. Uh, ongoing business. We had some wild pasta discussion. Is there anything more on that? Um, just that, again, I did a show. It's going to go on several TVs. And I'm working on education, not just in this town, but I discovered several locations that lead into this town and other towns that if we don't get them to do so Marshall Fair doing an educational thing, letting them go find it, work with their own conservation commissioners, extending the education beyond this town. As roads lead to this town, that's how it got here, along the road. So I'm doing that. And as far as moving this year's nobody has stepped up to really help and um, when I find me a tie back suit if I can fit in. And I'll go in there. We have a tent maker. Ones that I can fit in, thank you. Well, said this. Yeah, it's um, a big you want to sew three of them together? Uh, yeah. So nobody else has stepped up. I'm picking at it. I'm hitting the first areas on the Route 14 project. We're going to obviously take it off. I'll walk through there. There's a brook that goes under. There is some on each side. I want to get those heads off the water. What about outside of the, the we're area. taking in and also flagging off that whole area of yours and yeah. why I say that we've yes. had calls from I agree. the kindergarten people and daycare people As they should be. who are somewhat reluctant to taking their people yep. their kids down there because they've read the articles well. of wild possums and don't know where you know where they are or anything else education yeah. if we can if we had it taped off then we can at least say I, I think anything that is not taped off is okay well, for you people. I, I would like to actually put in a motion to put signs up, go through the process for regular, you know, doing the signs that we have to do, do it in an emergency order, it makes it easier, it is that type of thing. And people now be lucky to come to the parks, we haven't addressed it, it's been going on for like several years. We've only been dealing with it for a short period of time compared to how long it's been. If I had my way, we'd fence it in, put a 500 pound hog on it and say, go at it. If you're done in a month. Mm -hmm. They have big ropes. We're going to put a, a tie back suit on you when you have the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 if I had my way, right, you said that one. Well, the other thing we could do is do an emergency condition on the whole thing. It is in danger one of the best water resource areas in this state. What about goats? Will they eat it? And if it takes what yeah. happened on the sides of the road, I don't see why an emergency condition there works and they can spray. Thing. I don't see why under certain conditions, certain time of year, not bomb it off, but I, I am the greenest can be, but I'm a realist. Okay? Yeah, okay, clear. We don't deal with this. We don't wish we did. Yeah. Can you we know? get somebody in there like you said goats? Yeah, you can you goats? goats won't get the roots. Can you get a pig in there, like you said? What, you're I, not you know, you, you, you yeah, never you put know. any type of fence up to keep them in off. Well, you have to electric, and now you got liability, and now you got yeah, kids and electric yeah. fence and water, and it's just not. Yeah, the, even the pigs are smart enough to roll under electric fence. Well, nobody's really stuck away from, but I think you plugged in one ten. I can see it now. Conservation pig on the loose. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. In a white tie back yes. suit. Yes. In a white tie back <laughs> suit. Eating candy with a hat. <laughs> and drinking. <laughs> All right. Uh, getting yeah, seriously yeah, though, no. getting seriously, I, I really... Would you really, like us to investigate getting I am a super all, extra large tie back suit? Because they must make the I thing. will get in it and go, but I'm not going to get something that's going to impede me. And, you know, I've got a lot of... You should be stumbling around, line, getting overheated yeah, which, and stuff. And, 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 and find and, out and what's, the, yeah, yeah. what's the biggest... What not and all that and and at least we'll order one and have them try it if it's yep. not just and go from there. And I will, if we do, we'll, we'll get a couple of free days. Just yeah, start yeah, nipping just, it off. I'll go up the last door tomorrow. So I will yeah. gladly, with protection, go right in there and start. I have no problem with that, but I, you know, definitely protect it. But the other thing is, you know, addressing the seeds, you know, inter-community 
education here, where this is traveling by roads on the South Shore now. It's in Marshfield at five locations. I've, I've got them from Hummer Rock. There's one right on 139 across from the park. You know, one stand in there. It's already dropped its seeds, and that's going down 139 right there, waterway again. So it's not just us. And we set, we have the biggest infestation I have seen. So we're going to set. We're setting your precedence already by right? taking right. to take care of what we Yes. Have. Exactly. Well, I'm not against you, not this. against a licensed chemical treater that if it gets to a point, we say okay, we, we, we all lawful means necessary. Right. Well, I think we've already said that, as, at least from my standpoint, is I would like to see the best person to get rid of the parsnips that we can get. Yep. Do it. Because I think it's well, we, whatever it costs us, it's going to be money well spent, it well spent, well spent to do it. But I just don't know. As I'm, I'm but kind of leaving well, up you. Find the find I, the best whatever, someone who was. Whoever you know, worked with the state on Route 14, I was impressed. So. Can we get that person I, to take care. I of? would say, whatever by all means. Again, if you if you can give us a name or a company or whatever. We'll I'll, get right I'll on, get right on it. We'll get today. The, he's reliable. He just something happened. He's, he works his butt off this time. Yeah. Right. You know. And it, this is what I was we'll pushing for. Try to get three. So we don't last winter. When well, as long as you don't go over a certain. Hit the fan. Okay. 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 Good. Because okay. it could be sprayed right now. It's still got plenty of green leaf on the okay. ones coming up next year. We can get those before they come up next year. It's huge. We probably got a month. Okay. So if we make a motion right now to contact this person to get a, yep. a bid in here for before our next meeting and I, absolutely and i'll call my guy too but i mean whoever well, that worked i that was that well, worked well, we're working on two week whatever happened two week schedule i'd like to add on to that 14. get a bid in here as long as the bid work. is really is reasonable well. that we give him I'm the okay right, right away to get started on it Okay. Right -wing sensibility Can we stuff. advance money tonight? Any one person talking okay. at any time. Sorry. I, I want to get this moving because they're yes. already driving down the street taking down trees. I, I would think, I don't know what we have in our budgets. Okay. How much I, honestly, money can we advance? I, I would think you're going to need at least, for the size of area we're, we're looking at, you're probably looking anywhere from five hundred to a thousand dollars average price. But that's not bad at all. I think no. that's a I, I, I was going to say I'd be, I would be doubling. I think if we can get a quote in that range, let's do it and do it. And yeah. I'll still get me the suit. I'll still the dead any of the seeds is still important. But getting those ones dead before they put the spikes up, that so, is really important. Yeah. Thank so, you for your time and doing what you've done so far. We'll get it way. done. I just you know, the time. I've been so busy but with everything else. Back to the signs. I, I think education and signs, that's going to be. You, if you put a tape up, they see a tape. You put a sign up, they see well, a plant. The, I taped the bridge off, and I guess the day after I taped it, somebody went through it anyhow. Of course. Um, and we advanced $2,000 to have. Do we have it in our budget? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll find it. Oh. Okay. So I guess what and Michael's what need, license too. I'll give his. You know, we had something to happen is, today. Is get that. what you want on the signs, and then we can get a price on the signs. Yeah, a picture of the plant in two or three stages, like they do the, the no foil stuff. Just, okay. I would think the state should come up with signs to tell you the truth. Well, that's or something true. with the probably picture. the state. We probably could get it from the state yeah. next spring. Yeah, yeah, but okay. Well, well, next well, well we could give them a sample. Something like that. Design their sampler form. Then. Honestly, if you want to put signs up. Get what you want on the signs, right. and we'll have the sign guy give us a price on okay. it. Is it now, if you wait for the state, yep. uh, you'll be chasing well, it down at 139. I before you get a sign. This is going to be well. This is though something we're 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 doing this for everybody else to follow. And how, how many signs do you think we, you need? I think one in, in the inside corner, the outside corner, and the other corner, and then just down the street. So or five. If we had five signs. Five signs. So you better off ordering six. There you go. Yeah, yeah. 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 if one gets taken, you can replace it. But if you write what you want on the signs, okay. I'll take it to the guy we deal with. Take yeah. it right get out of the book. Get a picture. Take it right out of the book. No problem. 
and it's best to say as little as possible yes and yep. right to the point because yep. Yep. you get too much writing and people yep. aren't gonna even gonna look at it well, anyway. I, I think the, we need to put up a site where people want to go look at those ugly pictures that uh they can look at them because honestly that's what gets the job done talking about it they see a plant and talk about oh boy you know you but, you've you've raised it up because i catch and been catching calls and people talking about it well, well, people that are so not at all attached to it at all want to know what you get some pictures Isn't and um, I'll tell you that I'll put a key or something. Yes. At the I don't know. Right there? I agree. Isn't there like a poison sign or something you can put on top? Well, it's poisonous, isn't it? Yeah. I think again. Have you seen pictures of what it does to your skin? Well, that you need a site like you said. So we can say, okay, for further information, you want a gory thing. You want to show what it looks like, mm -hmm. and then people today they take their phone, they go click, they come home, and they right. go look at the world. So I think a site specific, a specific site would be what we need for this. There's going to get to be more and more plants, not less and less. Right. Okay. Different the, types. The short video that was posted, friends of mine from East Bridgewater, Middleborough, Westboro, it, it went further than. Oh, I, mean, I did want to show up with from all over here. Yeah. Seven yeah. more communities yeah. are getting next week. The, the best part of free advertising and free advertising. I did another yeah. run right. on that, and yeah. it's going to go to seven more towns and systems. Yeah, there you go. Well, well this is just on Facebook. It's right. Just been oh, yeah. Yeah. I saw friends of mine sharing it that little, like, wow, they never knew about it. I'm not trying to be the big alarmist. I don't want to be the person that didn't cry wolf and you got some kid that's disfigured. Right. It's terrible stuff. Okay. Five okay. X suit, size XXX. We're going to be working on it. Are we going to look to hire somebody to get in there? Yes. Would, as soon as possible? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you are? No, y'all are going to get her you're name. Get the okay. name. And she and she can take care of all that platform. Is there a state agency that may do uh, help us? I mean, that's agriculture. No. At this point, we don't have time. We don't have to I give agree. us a get us a name of no, no, whoever you was and let us try to go well, with. I don't know who it was. I was there. What happened there? But can we have a motion to advance two thousand dollars to have somebody treat the wild parsnip? Motion to advance two thousand dollars to second take care of the wild parsnip. Any further discussion on that? No. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So we want somebody that you can well, work with? Yeah, I might see my phone. The guy's never been let me down in 30 okay. years. He did something's going on. Well, so we need to register the license. I'll see who we get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they have some yeah. yeah. insurance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. absolutely. All right. Yeah. Where they sell their product to everybody. So there's a. Yeah. yeah. Medicaid Let's Ballfield work together and get business on that. Okay. Nobody else around. We, we have any problems with Ballfield right now. Medicaid to Ballfield. Yeah, was some trees. Oh, I did one last thing in the parcel. I did get two calls to go investigate different areas. One was the new purchase piece of property. It was the most biggest um, non parcel with white flowers everywhere. Between his lace. It was seven foot tall, giant Queen Anne's lace up against the chip piles. At a distance, it looked like it did look like it, but turned out to be all all right. That property's clean. I went over that just so you know. The pictures are fun. Two thirty four and two forty two Valley Street still ongoing. I'm so ongoing. Why do we all have our park? We know about that. We want to here right now. I think we need to know that. The old C thing is on Wednesday. Wednesday, it's it's below below right on there. Okay. Uh, Route 14 construction. Anything more on that? We're still waiting to um, engineers. Uh, issued me a blog that a couple weeks ago. Work by Lindy's. The engineers are working on that. Uh, spoke with the gentleman that's in charge of the project, and he has not heard back from the engineers yet. So it's in the process. Okay. Um, I need to talk to about a drainage in terms of first quarantine. Yeah, but there's no drainage at the 36-inch pipe. The 36-inch pipe we found the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, this is up on the um, first lane up at the far end oh, between the two fences. The one we found.
found brains of all of Queens Oh, yeah. Oh, I knew that one. That comes right at you already. You didn't know what was that? No, I didn't find that until the other day. When oh, okay. This is, a, <laughs> this is another one that's up at up Scobie Lane. Yes, I know that one. There's a big roof of seven to eight foot high plants right off the end of that drain pipe. Marijuana? No, 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 no. Lisa, Lisa Colady went up and looked and said there was not any signs that it was septic going into it, that it was strictly storm water. I'm going to go look at that. But there's a, quite a patch of, of weed pawn there. And okay. Just so we got it on our list, because you know, when it comes time to work, furnace pond, it's, which is, again, it's not on our agenda, but it, we're, it's close enough to 14. There are some meetings going on later on this week with the engineers and the basic contract for the start of the dredging of Furnace Pond on the engineering parts of it. Wow. Wow. That's, so, that's, that's something. But as I've been telling them upstairs, it's going to be hard for us to push for money <coughs> to clean Furnace Pond when we're in turn dumping our road things directly back into it. I mean, it's no one of those, I'm cleaning this, but I'm putting it back right away. Well, maybe yeah. there's a solution where um, that could extend some sort of a, during the process of drinking, maybe, yeah. well, maybe there could be some sort of retention or it would be nice, Rick, except three of the spots are ones that we just put in within the last two weeks with the Route 14 project right. that, are, that are direct, basically direct dumps in the Right, ground. and maybe they could do they were, the, This board fought about it and was told, you know, at that point, either, right, yeah. either, we, either you let it go or uh, the project goes. So. But, can, we, can we get um, one drain system fixed up from the last time meeting? It hasn't been installed yet, but that's right. right. Yeah. One, but the other one that they wanted was when it had 20 feet underground. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? There was no it's choice. really too bad the project didn't incorporate the new block bog for a siltation, both for the dredging and processing of the water before we the pond. Because you stand at my shop. Yeah, but if they, they wouldn't have changed it. And the bumper only goes up and down this much. It's almost straight flat. Almost there. Do you, do you, start, do you work with the dis DOT in this state? Sure. You haven't no, seen anything because they, sure been they nice. basically just don't care. Right, right. But it would have been nice. It would have been a good, yeah. good oh, yes. you know. It would have been a dual project at once. But should have, could have, would have. And we, there was some discussion on the existing bridges that are in run. How do we end up with that? Did they, uh, I'm that still waiting to hear from the building department. Okay. Is it on vacation or something? I honestly don't know. I've, I've been in there twice and I haven't heard back from them yet. So well, that needs to be fixed because somebody's going to fall in the water. I'll go in and see Tracy again tomorrow and see what's going on. Okay. Thank you. All right. Administrative business. That's all I have to the red folder. Forms to be signed. Um, we do have the meeting minutes of May 23rd, June 13th, and July 11th, 2016 to uh, review and approve. May 23rd. Those are the ones that were issued this evening. Has everybody read them, or would we like to continue that until our next one and vote on it? Okay. Do we have a motion? I'll motion to review the meeting minutes for those dates next week. Okay. Any discussion on that? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Is there a movie? No. Mm -hmm. It's summertime. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're welcome to show up. No, it's very fun. I didn't put the acceptance of the deed under discussion like I should have. Acceptance of the deed. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. that. We signed it there. Okay. No. Oh, we have the deed to Paul Barker Street, the supposed to be conveyed later on next week. This week or sometime. We're still working on getting a tenant kind of a little out of there so there's no hitch oh, between. Yeah, but we're 
we're kind of uh, and once the deed is signed then there's a bunch of things that have to be done but at the present moment we can't seem to get a good grip on what has to be done because the deed is calling for certain things to be done one is a sign another has to we have to get a conveyance Conservation restriction. Uh, what? restriction is the correct title on the property. Uh, we're going to find out who is responsible for what down there. Um, and part of why I'm even saying that is when we were talking about the gas shed back about a year ago, we were told that conservation was in charge of the land selectmen were in charge of the building well if we take that so scenario then, and put it across the street is it the, then, on the building on the land I well I, I mean but these are things that we just got to iron out but because of not wanting to muddy up any more of the situation we let them go to the end because they're in-house type of things but just because we pick up the deed doesn't necessarily mean that the keys are going to come to us and that the building becomes ours and the land becomes ours and we can do what we want. We're going to right. have to tread lightly till we feel out just what we're running into yep. and and go from there. We've waited two and a half or three years, whatever it is now, another couple of months to square things away. I'd rather do that than to do something and start another forest fire that we have trouble about, putting out later on. Like just soft proposals that different people come up with. Um, again, this grant's good for reforestry. It would be great to have community garden reforestry as grants. Um, soft plants, not anything that, you know, we're going to do this, but just. Well, that's it. I get it. I think in, the, in this particular case, we need to develop a, right. a plan right. of our own as to how we want to go about it. But I don't think we got to be careful not to rush in and step on some other feet. What, are you doing? what if they are on this from the top, say the select board is agreeable to certain things going on there. And we could come to terms that we're agreeable at that point. Well, couldn't, we, couldn't we go forward rather than just put it on a burner and not go forward? I, I would think one of the first things we need to figure out or find out is who's going to have control of the building. Yes, I would think offices for the conservation. Uh, I, I don't know if you're going to get that out of well, them, but who's going, to be, who's going to be responsible? Yeah. As far way. as the security of the, the place, yeah. uh, because once they find out nobody's living in oh, there, that, that's why the move. Well, yeah. we got to have it boarded up till yeah. it's decided what's going to happen there or yeah. what? Who knows? I, I think optimistically, I would think that this is a project in a long time and, and a very, you know, really has a great enhancement value. And I, I, I think, again, a plan, like you said, but. Conservation needs bigger offices. It's conservation it would be a no-brainer, as far as I'm concerned, to just move towards that, at least in discussion. You can't until we know what what. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, okay. I said soft. I will. I will, as soon as we you know, we get close to this signing and the passing, I will start really pressing yep. some of these people for some answers. But yes. Until it was signed, I didn't oh, want to yeah. press too hard no, on anything. Don't rock I mean, the boat. We can find out the right. help is moving on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, okay. I still think Do we have a motion off. to accept the deed to another side? Motion to accept the deed for 190 Barker Street. Thank you. Second. Just to give you guys an update, um, I spoke to three tree companies on the project at the highway bond, um, Triple D, Arborist, uh, Top Notch Tree, and Laterno Tree. Yep. Uh, Laterno Tree come in with the lowest bid, sure. so he was contacted 
last Thursday to proceed with the job, and he is looking at August 5th for a starting date for that project. I will give you a heads up. We'll be doing a phase two probably this fall because we've lost that much more going down the street. Yeah. Um, any chance of getting a hold of the and Old Waters for a public project? Uh, Everything. To some arbors. Right now, as I left it with Mr. Laterno, cabins somewhere. As I left it with Mr. Laterno, everything is to be chipped and left on site. Okay. Because we don't know what they died of. Um, if you, no, if no, you no, want to, if you want to go in and mock some stuff, I do agree uh, with like that. Like I say, I, I would. You, I do, you, I, you must know, Doug. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I, I do agree with you know being. You don't know, and when you don't know, you should. I, I actually, I'd like to save the trees. But what you just said makes perfect sense. Well, there may be some you can go in and look yeah. at, Rick, and and, and deem with yeah. your knowledge that you, like you said, can you use them. Don't really know what. No. Know, so, um, is it if it's a well, the other thing, Rick, is it appears that we're going to have some more because there's more yeah, yeah. dying that weren't part of this project. Right. And, and it spring. seems to be across the board. You know, many you know what we're talking about? The but these okay. are just dying out genetically. <coughs> I think we need a brief on our board what we're talking well, about. Down at the town highway barn area, as you come up the hill going towards the town barn on the right, mm -hmm. there's a large stand of red pine, red red pine, pine that were planted many years ago on make sure uh, when the far. dump was taken out of that. But all of a sudden, they're dying. But they're not just dying on that hill. Yeah. They're dying every place these red pines yes, yes. were planted back at that period of time. They were kind All of like a the tree that went everywhere. around. And they seem to just it's how it belongs to the conservation of the land. Okay. And it's on the hillside. And so we're taking them down with a crane because otherwise we'll work inside the road. That and there is underbrush already hole on the hill by stuff. taking them out of there with a the crane and bringing them back on the back side where there's room. We shouldn't disturb the vegetation on the hill so we don't have to worry about erosion. I, I, do you feel that there is just it's genetically the trees are stand out? I think that's what it is myself. <laughs> well, because they're everywhere. They're along Hanover at the highway. Well, if you go down to the state farm, all dying. the yeah. trees that are twice the caliper of this. Yeah. They've removed them all already. Yeah. They, they, they've died. They've, they've probably lost over 100 acres down there. Yeah. And it's just a mature size of this. So it, it used to be nice. We used to have a state forest, up, but I don't know who the gentleman is anymore. But I, um, I really think it's they kind of come to the end of their term of life. Yeah, it could be. Because yeah. it's happening with that particular tree on all different sites and projects mm -hmm. that were planted around the same time. And of course, down there's better conditions. They grew bigger here. They were yeah. sparser. They didn't. Uh, over where they're in along the road on Hanover before the North River. Yep. It's a big hill that's real tall. It's really they're all dead. Yep. Same There's another spot on Center Street at the Brockton yeah. yeah. Waterway. Yep. Bro I don't well, think Brockton. it would be bad to be able to try to yeah. save something. They've been gone for probably five years. Yeah. And Abington, yeah, Brockton was notified yeah. and they basically said when they fall we'll worry about it. Mm -hmm. Um but I, I, I tried to contact four hundred trees. I'll talk to, to, to see to Phil. Turn over, try to box some trees. And I haven't seen, so. haven't been able to catch up with Phil. And mm -hmm. Phil is basically the tree guru for the South Shore. Okay. And I don't know whether his health is just not there. Or what? Well, Mike South Shore is going to say. Yeah. Mike said the same thing that there seems to be they just genetically outgrown themselves. Herbal cookies. They were a genetic type of tree. And but as I say, as I say, Mr. Laterno is due to start the fifth. Um, try to save some. And he's going to, right now, everything's going to be blown on site, yep. left in a pile. So if we have to get into the hill further for some reason, we'll have the, the yep. wood chips to right there, indigenous, no problem. Stabilize the slope. You get up. I think you need to go that hill and open it up. It's dangerous and it really does need to be. We don't want to open too much up there. No, but you know what I'm saying? You want to have a little bit of access and then just yeah. to your station. We're getting a new garage, just like the fire department. You know? Give it to You want to fit on that? <laughs> <laughs> I won't yeah, see you're going to dredge the pond, too. You're going to dredge the pond, too, right? Believe it or not, that will happen. Yeah. I can't wait. It's been a long that time. Happen. Happen. It'll happen. The only thing that's going to, that might slow it down is money when it comes time to that. But <clears> I, got a, work. I got a feeling that's going to, well, hopefully it's not going to. Well, I think it's, it's going to, but they, yeah, they're going ahead uh, a, lot, a whole lot faster than I would ever give them a carbon deal. They pull out all the coffee cans, so you idiots, you 
how to start to drive coffee dam through stone that you dumped in there. It's an undoable job. Boat ramp was put up until whenever now. Pull everything left. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, no, they couldn't keep the water out. I think they need to worry about this sewer pipe before they worry about the boat ramp. No. I, I always struggle in Goose Neck Channel. I've been there this year and I'm not going. <laughs> Could I need three people to sign that they receive the the appointment is for the Oh, this one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you just signed the conduct. Oh, I know that one was in there all along. Yeah. Anything we can get All right. What was it? Two things on the So we click. Check yeah, your ass. Yes. Yes. I don't know what's upon the Queen's Park. Rick has a couple things. Oh, I'm sorry. No, okay. Two things. Um, actually, a great little concern on that project on Walstock Street. Um, the sewer system, if it's not enough on the house right now, the last one was by Woods. There was no barrier put in at the catch basin at all. And the system is very close to it. We put a barrier at the house, boom, the catch basin in front of the house, the last one done by Woods. I I, I, I remember seeing the truck over there, right. but well, honestly, I don't. I, I brought up that there was a catch basin dead center of the system. Oh. I visited the site. I did too. To make sure that there were hay bales, there was only a piece of silk fence, and yep. I put some, told them, put some hay bales. And while I was there, Lisa Colody from the Board of Health arrived. And I Walk pointed left. to the catch basin and got into my truck and left because that's her right. job. Not when I was there, they had dug down to the stone four feet down. It looked like they struck oil. It was black. It was oozing up through. The system went on top of it. There was no dig out. And there was no wall put anywhere near the street, the pipe, or the sewer. And I'm afraid that you might want to monitor that sewer. Accepted. And if it needs to go to the Board of Health, then it should go to the Board of Health. But I think we're at the foundation, the conservationist, that that be monitored for fecal matter. I know, well, I know that basin was just cleaned yeah, but within was the last three weeks. weeks. They didn't dig out the sludge. It's still there. I saw it get buried. I stopped there. It was like oil. It was joking. Hey, we hit oil. Six by eight patch. Put the system on it. It's right beside the catch basin. There is no membrane. The membrane is against the house. There is no membrane protecting that leaching to get into that tank. It's a, it's a leach tank, it's not a tight tank. And I really fear that that's a mistake and that it has to be addressed and should be monitored by who, the state or whoever has to come in and fix that. That's not right. It's, I know best practices involve those situations. It's far from best. That's my opinion. Well, I want it in the record, and that's it. I would think that they had to have an inspection done, so that would fall I don't fall think two on. feet of soil was going to start No, no, but I, no, I'm what just, I'm saying, Rick, is you know, I'm saying that they had to have an inspection signed off, so that falls on that office upstairs. Whoever falls on, I'm bringing the ball up and the uh, and, and, I, and I agree, I agree with you, but I'm saying it doesn't, right. unfortunately, it doesn't fall on us. It doesn't fall on the DPW, so it falls on the Board of Health Office. So okay. so she's, the one, <coughs> she's the one who does until the Until such time as it fails. In other words, we've run into this on other occasions, even though we can see what might happen. I've got a until it does happen, smell so we have no right power now. at all. And once it does, then yeah. we, yeah. well, we, we can do it. Now, I, I guarantee you, it's going to be being used. It's going to push and flush into that catch basin. It's lower gravitational flow, water seeps its own level. It is full of fecal matter in the ground. It was not removed. I saw it. I looked. The only thing I can say there, though, is whatever addressed. was in the ground was in the ground already. Right. They're and should be in, it should be going to the basin right now. Now, now I mean. Put new water on top of it. It's going to push it. It's hydraulics. Well, I don't know if it's new water because the system was there. It just was not. Well, I guess well, now there's another yeah. system on top of that system, yeah. and it wasn't dug out. And now there's two systems pushing water and leaching yeah. towards a basin that has two feet of dirt between it and the system and no barrier. I guess we need to, to um, somebody drop the ball. We need to send a letter to the Board of Health then. Thank you. I don't want to be that guy. But yeah, no, it's a Board of Health issue. Right, I'm uh, saying, uh, it's uh, not being a whistleblower. It's, it needs to be addressed. If I put a system in, it's going to well, just push. What, what, rather than even say we... 
because this is not under our expertise support. We, okay, should, ask, the board for we should ask the Board of Health for a copy of as their as-built. Yes, I agree. You know, and then from that we can determine whether you know, whether there was something there. I mean, you say there isn't. I saw if it. they say there is, then we have another well, problem. Well, I saw it, you know, so and, there you go. But we don't, we're just, nobody's we're going on our arguing. Just, yeah. unfortunately, it's got to come from up there oh, I know, but before we can do anything about it. If somebody doesn't say they saw it, then it's not going to happen. I'm doing it. Oh. Well, and like I said, that's why I think we need I'm to all definitely best practices, practices and everything, but this is far from that. And again, you know, I'm I'm gonna, gonna, I have to at least stand up for Lisa in the fact of the drainage area on, on Furnace Lane that I went to this week. Yeah. We contacted Lisa, Lisa went out. A look at it to make sure to see if it had anything that showed signs you know, of, of septic in it. So I mean, she, at least she's conscious of what she's doing that way. There's, there's got to be a sample kit a couple of times a year. You check it after you know, when there's a lot of big rain and it's been sitting. Yeah. Well, those are drainage. Those 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 within, within the next year. Yeah. All the outfalls are going to be tested and we're going to really take yeah. shit hit the fan. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say because that is going to, it's going to leach in there, in my opinion. So mm -hmm. okay. okay, other thing real quick. Um, I don't know what, who do we address about trash cans at Wendy's? They're not putting them out. Trash is everywhere. It's going in the brook. Everybody just throws, there's no trash cans at Wendy's. They sell everything. There's nothing to put trash in. It's all over the place. It's going in the brooks and it's just, who do we contact? What do we do? I would say that falls under the selectmen because they handle okay. the trash. Right. So, yeah. I, I, I noticed since it's Jeff bad. doesn't own it anymore, right. the trash cans disappear. Yeah, exactly. And that's not right. You have a business, you need yeah. trash barrels. But I, I think all the trash issues, so no matter what they are, have to go through. Okay. It may not even be Sabrina. Get an educator here. Yeah, but the. Uh, I'm Vicky. Vicky, Vicky, no Vicky no seems to handle. Okay. The, the stuff as far as for actual. So we'll see if Mary can draft a letter and, yes. and, and we'll sign it if, if need be and forward it about keeping the premises clean. Yeah. Yeah. I think right. they should have trash barrels. That's simple. If they want to pay for the trash and don't sell it. Right. So they just meeting up the area. Mm -hmm. well, it's, it's dumping the area. It's a dump. Okay. Yeah. My grievance is a dump. Okay, I have a motion to close the meeting. Second. Second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.